Today we are going to talk about finding measures of center. So let's talk about what measures of center are. Measures um, of center are measures that describe typical value of your data set. So this includes your mean, your median, your mode. So your median is the middle of your data set, and this will always be written as one number. So you find that exact middle. Sometimes you will have one number in the middle, and that is your median. Sometimes you have two numbers in the middle, so you find the mean of those uh, two numbers to get your median. When you are writing a median, it should always be one number. Your mode. Your mode is a value or values that occur most often. You could have one mode, you could have more than one mode, or you could have no mode. You need to be careful when you're uh, not given a mode. Um, if no number occurs more than the others or no data point occurs more than the others, then your response is no mode. We cannot put zero because zero is of numerical value. So it could be part of your data set. Um, so that would uh, be misleading. So we would write no mode if there is no mode. All right, let's go ahead and dive into our median and mode. When I am finding my median and mode, I want to make sure that I always organize my data from least to greatest to help me get started. Okay. So let's do that here. We've got a set of bowling scores and I need to order those from least to greatest. So here my lowest score is 90. Sometimes it helps to cross them off as I go. 90, 105, 120, 125, 135, 145, 160, 160, 175, and 205. Like I said, you can cross these off as you go to help yourself track. All right, so right here I've got my data organized. It is so important to have your data organized so you can more clearly see the numbers you're working with. For the median, we need to have our, our data in order so that we can find that middle. Going through here and finding the middle is not going to work. These numbers are not in order. Okay, so once I have my data in order, I can go ahead and start crossing them off. I wanna cross off one on either side um, so that I can get to that middle. Now, some people like to cross off, others like to use fingers um, and work your way in. Whatever works best for you, I enjoy crossing off. Just lightly, I will say that. I just cross off just a little slash um, so that I can still read the number and continue working with it. All right. So I've got 90, 205, 105, 175, 120, 160, 125, 160. And now here I have two medians. But as I said before, we can't have two. So what I do is I go ahead and add those together, get the sum, find the mean. 135 plus 145 divided by two. Again, I can grab my calculator to figure this out or do it on pencil and paper. And I've got a median of 140. Okay, so my median here is the mean of 135 and 145, or you could say the middle point between those two. Um, this one, is a little bit easier. Sometimes they get a little messy. So do know that you can use that mean formula. Uh, the middle of my data set is 140. Now the next part, I go to my mode and I need to figure out which data point, if any, occurs more frequently. Here, I can see that the only duplicates are 160. 160 occurs two times, that's more than any other data point here, making my mode 160. So to recap, your median is the middle. I organize my data and find that middle point. If there's two, I find the mean of those two middles because the median may only have one number. My mode, I find by determining which 
data point occurs the most more than any other. I can have multiple modes, I can have one mode, or I can have no mode.